In the Old Testament, God used the nation of Babylon to overtake the children of Israel, used the Babylonians as an instrument of his judgment against Israel. I pose a question to you this morning. Could Islam be United, the United States, Babylon? We'll talk about that on today's edition of Live Prayer. What problems are you dealing with in your life right now? Do you feel like giving up? Times are hard and you're not strong. Well, I know the answer for you. And it will lead to the truth. Don't look back to yesterday. Now there are answers. Welcome to Live Prayer. It's waiting there. Here's your host, Bill Kelly. You can make it through. There is a hope for you today. And welcome to Live from Bill Keller. It's good to have you with me on this Monday morning as we start another week of live prayer program. But not just another week. Oh no. We are in countdown mode. T minus six days until the opening of the new. 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. That's right, this coming Sunday, September 5th, I will personally be right by Ground Zero in the ballroom of the New York Marriott at 85 West Street, and we will be holding our inaugural service of the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero in that great ballroom honoring uh, first responders, 9-11 families, some other special guests. We have some great praise and worship lined up. I've got a powerful message from God's Word to deliver. And I have, of course, an invitation time of prayer afterwards. It's going to be an amazing time in New York as we open our 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero this coming Sunday, 11 o'clock. Listen, what better? I, I would encourage you. If you're watching this program in Fort Myers, Naples, you can go to the Fort Myers Airport, get on JetBlue, about 250 bucks each way. And come spend this coming Sunday with me as we open our new 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. We're going to get into that a lot more. As today we're going to look at, could Islam be the United States Babylon? I believe it's going to be a very powerful program, one that you must really pay attention to as I walk you through what really could be a new way of looking at Islam. I'm Bill Keller, founder of LivePrayer.com, the world's largest interactive Christian website. Of course, we reach a little over 2.4 million people every day on the Internet. I would encourage you to come check us out if you have not done so already at LivePrayer.com. Lots of great materials on the website, special uh, daily content, uh, unique unto itself. Nothing like it exists on the Internet, and I'm just encouraging you right now to spend some time on LivePrayer.com. Nothing to buy. Everything's free. All designed to minister to you in your time of need. That's LivePrayer.com. Of course, we're here live every Monday through Friday, eight. To, I'm sorry, seven to seven thirty, right here on my TV eight here in the Fort Myers Naples market. Let me just share with you a little bit of what com what's coming up this week. Tomorrow, we're going to celebrate the eleven year anniversary of LivePrayer.com. So please tune in. It's going to be a special program Wednesday. We are going to be talking about uh, how you can be part of what we're doing in New York, play a real critical role in our efforts there at Ground Zero. Thursday, uh, an encore presentation of our nationally syndicated infomercial, Our Nation's Only Hope. And then on Friday, on Friday, we will be dedicating that program to the opening of the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. Great programming all week long, 7 to 7.30 here on my TV 8. Please make sure you tune in and tell everyone you know about this program. Now, as I mentioned, this Sunday we will be opening our new Christian Center at Ground Zero. We've got a very special video presentation to tell you all about it. So please take a minute right now and watch this very special video presentation. I'm Bill Keller, founder of Live prayer.com. Recently it was publicized that the Muslims would be building a mosque at Ground Zero. 
Let me make sure you understand that this was a purposeful and premeditated act. This is not an accident. They already have many moths in New York City. This was done in a very well orchestrated way. This mosque at Ground Zero will be a memorial to the greatest triumph of Islam in 1400 years, 9-11, 2001, when their Muslim brothers flew those planes into the World Trade Center towers. More of their Muslim brothers went into the Pentagon. Others headed to the Capitol were courageously ditched in the fields in Pennsylvania. But make no mistake about it, this mosque at Ground Zero is a memorial to the greatest triumph of Islam in 1400 years. It will be a place where they will teach this generation, future generation of Muslims, how to hate this nation, how to turn this nation into a Muslim land, which is their ultimate goal. They will teach people Sharia law, the law that Islam is governed by all over the world. What is our response as Christians? I thought and prayed hard about this. I decided that why hold another rally, another protest march, that a few hours after it over, it was over, everybody would go home and forget about it. Nothing would change. I realize there are many great efforts to try to stop this mosque from being constructed. And while I pray they're effective, and while I pray that they will be successful, in my heart of hearts, I know that the Muslims, with their massive amounts of money, will be ultimately victorious. This mosque will be built. We don't need another protest. What we need is a bold, visible response to what the Muslims are about ready to do at Ground Zero. That response is the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. We aren't going there with swords. We're going there with the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is like Elijah on that wonderful day where he invited the prophets of Baal to Mount Carmel and said, let's see whose God answers by fire. Today, I issue that same challenge to Imam Faisal Raul, the imam of the Ground Zero Mosque. You bring your false god, I'll bring the god of the Bible, and we will see which god answers by fire. Phase one, we will hold services every Sunday, starting September 5th at 11 o'clock through the end of the year at the New York Marriott, right by Ground Zero. As of January 1st, we'll move into our permanent facility at Ground Zero, where we will hold evangelistic meetings seven days a week. We will have a special 9-11 memorial prayer room for visitors to Ground Zero and those who work in the financial district, those who live in, in that area to come and pray. I know that as time goes on, the Muslims will try to silence me. They will try even to kill me. But the gospel won't be stopped. And I need you to help me. I need you to stand with me. Many people are outraged by what is about ready to happen at Ground Zero. And people say, how can my voice be heard? You can stand with me and the 9-11 Christian Center. Go to my website, liveprayer.com. On the left menu bar, click on the donation link. There is a secure server there where you can give via a major credit card, you can give via PayPal, or you can just drop a check to our corporate headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. You can take a stand against this mosque, a meaningful stand, a stand that not only is going, to, is going to drown out the lies of Islam, but it's going to lead souls to faith in Jesus Christ. I believe it's going to spark a revival in the city of New York, and I believe it's going to turn this nation back to God and His truth. Please, stand with me today. Your voice can be heard. You can make a difference. The 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero is the answer to this mosque and for this nation. I'm Bill Keller. That's the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. Please be in prayer for us and pray about come on up and being part of that initial uh,
congregation as we meet at the ball, in the ballroom at the New York Marriott this Sunday, 11 a.m. All right, we got a great program for you. I've got a commercial break that I must hit, but when I come back, we're going to talk about whether Islam could be the United States Babylon. I'll explain what I mean in just a minute. Watch this message. I'm Bill Keller of Live Prayer, and I need your help. God has challenged me to open the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. This is a response to the new mosque that's being built within a block of the where the World Trade Center towers used to stand. The Muslims are spending $110 million to build this mosque. God said to me to go put a Christian center within a block of Ground Zero, and that's what we're doing. We're going to open the center on Sunday, September 5th. I'll be flying personally to New York to hold those services every Sunday till the end of the year. And then starting January 1st, the center will literally be open 24-7. We'll hold evangelistic services there every day. We'll have a special 9-11 memorial prayer room so that those who come to New York City to visit that hallowed ground will have a place to come and meditate, pray, and just spend some quiet time. This is a great undertaking. I can't do this alone. I need your help. To give a gift to the 9-11 Christian Center, you can go to liveprayer.com. Click on the donation link on the left menu bar. There you will find a secure server so you can make a gift with your major credit card or you can give via PayPal. Or if you want to just drop a check to us, that's great. You can send that to our headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. That address is on your screen. In the information line of your check, just put 9-11 Christian Center your gift will go to this great undertaking. Islam is a 1,400-year-old lie from hell. The audacity of the Muslims to build a center in the shadows of the, where the trade center towers that their Muslim brothers knocked down, killing 3,000 innocent people, is a travesty. People are upset. I'm upset, but we're taking action. Sunday, September 5th. We will put our faith to the test as we open the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. I need your help. I need your prayers. I need your support. Thank you. God bless you. Welcome back to Live Prayer. You know, in the Old Testament, God used many forms of judgment many instruments of judgment on the people of Israel when they disobeyed, when they rebelled against him. One of those instruments of judgment was the Babylonians. Several times in the Old Testament, we read about how God allowed the Babylonians to take the children of Israel into captivity. They were literally an instrument of God's judgment against Israel. Now, I pose the question today, and I think it's a, Legitimate question, one worth pondering. Could Islam be the United States Babylon? What I mean by that is simply this. This nation has turned its back on God. We've gotten involved in every kind of gross sin and wickedness known to man. We legally slaughter 4,000 innocent babies every 